Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Monday, coming at you with 2022 Fanatics Under Wraps 2.0, Autograph Baseballs, three box, random player number 16. One spot gets you nine random players. Remember, and then that red text right there where my mouse is hovering, please note that any and all multi-sign baseballs will go to the any and all multi-sign baseball spot. Big thanks to this group right here for getting in on it. It's just Tristan, Steve, and Matt getting in on this one. So let's uh, nine tuple you up. So there's one already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And so you can see, we go up to uh, row 171, perfect. It worked, Joe. So it did work? Nice. So we'll gather all your names, get them into one fresh list here. And then we'll gather these names and get them into the other fresh list right over here. And let's roll it. Randomize names and players. Three and a five, eight times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. After eight, we got Matt all the way down to Steve. Get the results in the different tab here. Three and a five, eight times for the players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. After eight times, we got Alec Bohm down to Glaber Day, Glaber Torres. All right, so I'm just gonna show you the list as is first and then I'll alphabetize by your first name so you can see all of your players grouped together. I just wanna get this part on, uh, on wax, on tape, on video. Just for transparency purposes, for auditing purposes. There you go, Matt, with the any and all multi-sign baseballs. Good luck. All right, let's go back to the top, and then let's sort by A to Z. Call A, A to Z. So Matt Smith, there's your group of players right here all grouped together. Including your last spot mojo players right there. Good luck. Steve Herrick, good luck to you as well. They're your group of players. All right. And then the rest for Tristan. Starting with Goldschmidt down to Rendon. Aaron Nola down to Gary Sanchez. And Red Schoenice down to Brooks Robinson. All right, I'm gonna, pa I'm gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades. Then we will have the break stick around BRB. All right, folks, while people are considering trades, we're gonna, we're gonna pop open this fresh case. I don't think I get my camera set up here. We're gonna pop open this fresh case right over here, which you can see on my face camera. You know it's from a fresh case, and I'm just gonna slide just the top three boxes. Just right off the top. And the rest of these will be for the other three box breaks that we have online on jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right. I don't think anyone's trading, so I think this list is gonna remain the same. Thanks everybody for getting in. So let's sort by column A so I can spot your players. And put your thinking caps on. We're gonna do uh, a few rounds of America's favorite game, Who Am I? I'll give you the clues. You try to guess who the player is for bragging rights. I shine in these moments. Uh, Jonah loves these, Jonah loves these. I'm over here so I can't see. Can't see the monitor. All right, we've got, is that who I think it is? So I'm gonna be able to tell by his auto really quick, yeah. 
All right, who am I? This, this should be pretty easy. Let's see who's going to get this. All right, who am I? Retired baseball player. 5'11", playing weight 5'11", 150. Skinny guy. A righty, but a switch hitter. A Hall of Famer. Went to... Uh, drafted by the Tigers out of Cal Poly San Luis Obispo? What a, what a great baseball program. Remember that famous... Uh, but I, don't, I think he went to college or stayed in college. He was in the seven, until he was drafted by the team in the fourth round in the late 70s. Good fielder? Pretty good fielder. 15-time All-Star, a World Series winner in 82, a Silver Slugger, NLCS MVP, 13-time Gold Glover. Ozzy. It's the Wizard. There you go, Jonah. Nice. Yeah, Kevin M. got it in the chat as well. There it is. There's Ozzy. He's got great penmanship, of course. Let's be careful with the auto here. Great penmanship. Hits you up with the HOF inscription, the Fanatics sticker, the MLB hologram sticker. Did not realize he went to uh, slow. He played with one of my uh, friend's dad. So that's how I kind of got that. Oh, so the Cal Poly gave it away. I don't know if they've had a ball player drafted from there since. Yeah, they had Brooks Lee, the uh, seventh or first round. Is that right? Past year, yeah. Hmm. Brooks Lee, he was uh, his dad's the slow coach, so oh. he grew up with baseball. All right, so that goes to that goes to Tristan with the Ozzy Smith spot here on the twenty seventh. This is break number sixteen right here. There you go, Tristan. Thank you. All right. Yeah, isn't that kind of weird? That, that was a weird fact, too. Yeah, Tigers drafted Ozzie Smith in the seventh round of the 1976 draft. And I guess he must have not signed because then it says, the baseball reference page says, and by the Padres in the fourth round of, 19, of the 1977 draft a year later. All right. All right, active player. Active pitcher. Active pitcher, I think he's gonna be a free agent this year. He was originally drafted by the Blue Jays. In the 20, say he's 6'2", 200, he's a right-handed pitcher active right now from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Drafted by the Blue Jays in the 22nd round of the 2011 draft out of high school, and I guess opted to go to college. No, he went to LSU. And then he was drafted a few years later by this team in the first round. So that was a good decision for him. Seventh overall in 2014. Who am I? Last year he had a 3-2-5 ERA, 11-13 record, 205 innings pitched, 235 strikeouts, sub-1 whip. Just some bad luck losses, I want to say. Who am I? Drafted by the Phillies in the first round. Seventh overall in 2014, still with the Phillies. Free agent this year, looking to stay with the Phillies. Yep, Kevin's got it. Aaron Nola. There, he's got some good penmanship right there. And a really good picture. There's all the stickers and then the Fanatics thing right there as well.
All right, and that's another one for Tristan. Got randomized to Aaron Nola. All right, third and final. We've got more in the store, Jaspi's Cat. I think we've got another break coming up a little bit later tonight. If you check the schedule, we've got a pretty packed day. But we can squeeze in another break or two of these later tonight. So keep those spots going. Keep those thinking caps on. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, who am I? I was a catcher, first baseman, and third baseman. So it's 6 2 2 12. Had a lifetime uh, 297 batting average, 2,342 hits, 252 home runs, uh, almost 1,200 RBIs. I won an MVP with the Cardinals in the early 70s. I didn't realize this guy won an MVP. MVP, one-time Gold Glover, nine-time All-Star, won a batting title. And ended up being, you're going to know him better as a Hall of Fame manager. Yep, that's Joe Torrey. Sam and Kevin's got it. Steve's got it too. Steve Birch's got it. So he hits you with... This is on a 1999 World Series ball. That's awesome. So he hits you with the inscription, World Series champs. And then hits you with the, uh, with the games as well, looks like. Nice. On an official World Series baseball, you got the uh, MLB sticker and the Fanatic sticker as well. I think that's it. That's pretty cool. And Joe Torrey, that's going to go to uh, Steve Herrick. There you go, Steve. Pretty cool ball. A lot of nice inscriptions there. Another nice three-box break in the books. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.